Uh, volleyball had really been on a hot streak. In fact, they swept a couple of Big Ten teams a week before. This past weekend in Arkansas at the Arkansas Invitational swept Florida International at Little Rock before running into a buzzsaw in the host Razorbacks. Back in the Stampede, voice of the bus, Mark Johnson. You know, we've been watching that great piece that done by John Snelson about head coach Carl Durrell. Let's check out the final piece to that documentary. Carl came in in 99 as an intern, and at the end of the 99th season, I hired Carl to come in and be the wide receiver coach. Carl came in in 2000, 2001, and 2002, and did an incredible job for us. You know, Mike Shanahan uh, was a big impact on my career. First of all, he's given me my first opportunity to be a, a full-time assistant, but also he's such a great offensive mind. A lot of the foundation of what I learned and do as an, as an offensive coach, you know, was really, he was a big part of that. He was a guy that expected a lot of you, but he expected a lot of himself. So I think both Ed and Rod and all the receivers loved him, the way he handled himself. When you have a coach like that, that understands people, especially playing the position, he knew you, you were very fortunate to have a guy like him. Really what kind of inspired me to get into coaching was the opportunity to be the head coach at UCLA. It was a great experience for me. It was hard at times, like most things. We had some success. Um, wish it was probably more, more of a dominant success, but it wasn't at that time. And, but it was definitely a great experience for me that I've learned from that helped me, you know, really on that second phase of my career, which you know, which was going back to the NFL and coaching. You know, I had a chance to work with, you know, with Bill Parcells and Tony Sperano, you know, in Miami. From there, I went to, to the Houston Texans, and I got a chance to work with Gary Kubiak. You know, also the, the fourth team would be the New York Jets. Zebra, zebra, zebra! Just gotta hit it. Very fortunate and blessed to be along uh, some really great coaches in my career, you know, that have done tremendous things not only for themselves, but, you know, I'm one of their, you know, one of the examples where they've impacted me in a number of ways, too. It happened pretty quickly. <laughs> And, uh, and it was definitely, uh, I believe, on the Lord's timing. Something has stirred me inside that this is where I'm supposed to be. Each day I drive into work, I think about the beauty of what I have, you know, and how blessed I am to do what I do. And just play to the best of your ability for your teammate, for the guy next to you. Got that? We got, we got something. I think our players, they understand that we're for them. You know, they understand that I'm for them. Come out here, fly, let's finish this game. Got it? Let's go! You know, you're hopeful when it's all said and done that you've impacted enough people. Don't you feel we got something special going on? Yes, sir. This game is that special because it does affect lives. It creates those bonds, it fortifies it, it gives it a history. You build long-lasting relationships because of the process. That's what this great game brings, is there's a unifying bond that's never broken. That's what I'm excited about, is building this place to reach its potential where it was once before. Well, uh, thanks to John Snelson putting that great piece together on head coach Carl Durrell. The CU football team on the road again this weekend in Big Ten country. We're going to be in the Twin Cities to take on the Minnesota Golden Gophers on the Colorado Football Network. We'll get things underway at 11 o'clock, make it 1130 Mountain Time, 130 the kickoff between the Buffs and the Gophers. That'll put a wrap this week. And a Buffalo Stampede, I'm voice of the bus, Mark Johnson. We'll talk to you next time.